What's just been your early impressions as camp has gotten started here and what you're seeing out there? I think it's been great. You know, uh, being able to be here early with some of the guys, our chemistry is great. Um, we're starting to know each other's tendencies much, much quicker than usual. So, so far, it's been great for us. You talked in, when you first got here in July about how you felt this was a really good situation for you at this point in your career. You, I mean, I, obviously, you must feel that way now, but what, what do you think makes you such a good fit here right now? Uh, obviously, uh, there's a point guard slot needed uh, behind Jeff. Um, and obviously, I just think uh, with my growth throughout the, my NBA career, I feel like this is a great opportunity for me to come in and showcase what I've been, you know, uh, continuing to work on throughout the years I've been in the NBA. And uh, I think just being here with amongst the guys who want to work, that's kind of the type of guy I am. I just like to work. And to see other, everybody else with that same mentality is great to see. What, what do you think makes you effective in the pick and roll game? Why, why, why is that something that comes so well? You know, nowadays the NBA, the, the, the guard is usually a scoring guard. And I've been a scoring guard my entire life. So uh, for me, I just think I'm, I've been able to score the ball off the dribble so well. Uh, and you know that's kind of what the NBA is now, to be able to have the guards that can be able to score the ball. Um, and then at the, on, on top of that is I'm, I'm a willing passer. You know, uh, Being able to pass the ball on my left hand or my right hand, uh, being able to see the core, having a great IQ for the game. You know, a lot of good things. And just being able to understand the game at a high level. Uh, I've been gracious enough to be a point guard my entire life. So I experienced so much. Uh, and be able to be at the top of the highs and the lowest lows. So. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a combination of everything, but it, I think the biggest thing is just experience of the game. I saw your time in Portland. Did that make you accustomed to playing off the ball as well? Yeah, yeah, it did. Uh, but obviously, you know, when I was playing at University of Connecticut, I was playing off the ball. I played with Kemba Walker, Ryan Boatwright, uh, Jeremy Lamb. So I've learned how to play without the ball. Obviously, um, you know, the game has gone to that, and it's been working in my favor. Right, a lot of things to that. Not to <laughs> That'll be the case a lot here, too, where there will be a lot of chances for you to do that. Off the ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah certainly. You know, I, I, you know, one through five can take the ball up the floor. You know, it doesn't have to be Jeff. It doesn't have to be myself. It can be Josh. It can be Cat. Uh, you know, guys are uh, very versatile on this team. So it makes it easier for myself, for other guys who, who play on the ball, just to be off the ball. And then on top of that, you know, you're a better shooter uh, catch and shoot than you are dribbling the ball. So it makes it easier for me. You've talked about this in the past, but uh, about compensation for NCAA athletes. I think you've talked about it a few times. In the new, with the news coming out out of California that they passed that that law and the momentum that seems to be going that way. What are your thoughts as you see that? Guy? I haven't read I haven't read it that much. I mean, exciting for them, but you know, right now, my, all my thoughts is on trying to uh, prepare myself for the season. Ryan was talking about there's there's talk of using Cat as a facilitator more, but that the point guard is kind of going to still obviously be the main point guard right in the offense. Can you think of any teams you played with in the past that has had that balance between the point guard and center, or somebody around the league that's been doing that? Um, you know what? Not typically, but you know, Cats, um, his uh, his game is so unorthodox. You don't really see that often. Being able to be a, a big guy who can draw the ball, who can facilitate. You know, uh, you know, when I was in Portland, uh, obviously we ran a lot through Dame and CJ. But when Nurt got the ball, we kind of became cutters. Uh, kind of how Golden State was, when, you know, are when they have Draymond Green. You throw the ball in the post, and you, you kind of become cutters, and that's what the game's gone to. You know, you don't uh, obviously you, you want to be able to score off the dribble, score sometimes when pressure situation comes on, um, but you want to limit yourself from isolation. And uh, being able to have a guy like Cat, you can throw the ball in the post, or you can throw it to him up top, and you make moves. He sees the court, and it's really really up to him to make the right decision. And I, I'm obviously he's been doing that from. The time you've been playing basketball, so uh, you know, uh, um, definitely it's exciting to be a part of that. Would be pretty good to high pick and roll too with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he does everything, pop, row, um, and he just knows how to play the ball, play the game. You know, he has real high level IQ of the game, and uh, you know, credit to him. It's up there, man. It's really up there because he understands the game. You know, uh, you know, he's kind of of uh, an Anthony Davis type of guy who's played point guard, you know, when they were younger and understands the game, but, you know, they've been gracious to get taller, you know, so uh, I think with him, it's just sky's the limit. He continues to get better every and every day. Uh, he works real hard, so at the end of the day, I think it's really up to him to make the right decisions, and he's been doing that.